we have an octagon, a regular octagon with sides of length 2, and we're asked what fraction of the entire octagon is shaded. So I'm first of all going to focus on just um, one triangle on the octagon. In fact, I'm going to draw it away from the octagon over here. Now this will have a side length of 2 because it's a regular octagon, all the sides are 2. It's a right angle triangle and uh, it's necessarily isosceles, this is 45 degrees. The reason we know that is because the angles in an octagon are 135 degrees. Uh, you can sort of see it from this outside shape as well, but yeah, 135 degrees, so this is 90, which means that this angle is 45. Now I can work out what these two are, they're going to be the same. An x squared plus x squared, or 2x squared, is going to equal 4, 2 squared. I've just used Pythagoras' theorem, x squared plus x squared is 2 squared. Therefore, x squared will equal 2, and x will equal root 2. So it's actually quite a good fact to know that if you have this sort of situation, and then let's say the length is L, then the two others will be L over root 2. But I've derived it here in the case of 2. So now I know that this is root 2 and this is root 2. So we can work out the, I'm going to work out the octagon area to start with. Well, I'm going to get the square inside, that's going to be 2 times 2. And then I'm going to have four triangles, which are a half times root 2 times root 2. And then four rectangles, 4 times 2 root 2. So this will become 4. The half times root 2 times root 2, or root 2 times root 2 is 2, so actually this cancels. So in fact, I'm going to get 4 plus 4, which I'm going to now write as, rewrite as 8. And then this 4 times 2 root 2 is 8 root 2. Of course, this topic is involving the topic of thirds, which is typically taught a bit later on in school. But um, we're not having to do too much with them, so I'm hoping you're okay with this so far. Now, the easiest way to work out the shaded area, I think, is to focus on the fact that we've essentially got four of these uh, these triangles. This length is root 2, and this length is going to be 2 plus root 2. So the shaded area will equal 4 times a half times root 2 times 2 plus root 2. A half base times height but I've got four of them. So this will become 2 root 2 times 2 plus root 2. I think I'm going to need to expand my bracket now, so I'll get 4 root 2 plus. Now root 2 times root 2 is just 2, so I'm going to get 4 root 2 plus 4. Or if I rewrite it with the integer first, 4 plus 4 root 2. Okay, it doesn't simplify any more than that. So what fraction is shaded? Well, it's going to be our 4 plus 4 root 2, the area that's shaded, divided by 8 plus 8 root 2. But notice I can factorize a 2 out of that, which means this just, just cancels. And we're left with a final answer of a half. Brilliant. I'm just going to give an alternative way of finding the um, the the shaded area. It's more complicated, but anyway, this is how I did it. So what I decided to do was work out the actual length of the square, and then I could square it to get the area of the whole square, whole tilted square. And all I need to do is minus the four. So for this, I I still treat I still um work, drew this triangle essentially, and but rather than finding the area, which I just see now is, would have been so much easier, I actually used Pythagoras' theorem to work out say GE. So GE squared is going to be root two squared plus two plus root two squared. 
So this involves a double bracket. Here I get 2. Now remember, this is actually 2 plus root 2 times 2 plus root 2. So to expand these double brackets, we basically do, I'm going to make a bit more space. I'm not going to go into detail on this. If you're unsure about this topic, then have a little look about expanding double brackets. I've got videos on it elsewhere. But it's like a crab claw method. So we do 2 times 2, so we get 4, and then plus 2 times root 2, and then plus root 2 times 2. There's another 2, root 2, root 2. And then finally, plus root 2 times root 2, so plus 2. And this becomes 8 plus 4 root 2. Now that is actually um, GE squared, but that is the area of the tilted square. Because to get the area of the tilted square, I would take the length and square it. So that's essentially what I've got. So the shaded area will be this minus 4, as I discussed before. And that's how, another way that we can get 4 plus 4 root 2. So, yeah, it's a bit more compl complicated. I think the, the green method is better, but hey, it's there as an alternative.